Hello, my name is Kyle Abel. I'm an inspector with ODNR Division of Oil and Gas, and I was going to take you through a production well. After drilling, frack moves on, and once the well is fractured, this will be the equipment that's left on surface for the duration of the well. This is basically a production style tree wellhead with the casing below and the oil and gas flow out of the tubing. There's several strings of casing that are cemented in the ground and you can read the annular pressures on each. The wellhead produces oil, gas, and salt water. This would be the gas production unit. The produced materials from the well flow into the gas production unit where they're then separated out between natural gas, which gets sold in these series of pipelines onto market. It also separates the oil from the water, which is pumped over into the production tanks at the end of the well pad. The oil is then later hauled off by trucks to go to refineries. The salt water is then hauled off and disposed of properly in disposal wells. There's also several um, vapor recovery units that pull vapors off the tank and push them back into the sales lines to eliminate vapors in the air. The things I like to look for is any signs of oil, gas on the ground. Make sure the vegetation surrounding the, the well pad is alive and in good shape. One thing we really monitor is the annular pressures to make sure that they're not exceeding the maximum allowable. We check the containments to make sure that there's no oil or salt water inside there. Generally, it's just based on what needs to be done. It's hard to come up with an exact timeline, but we like to try to make it to each pad twice a year. Depending on the violation, if it's minor, I would call the operator and let him know and let him tell me what his plans to remediate the, the infraction is. If it's a large spill, we write a violation, still contact the operator and seek compliance.